In this video, I'm going to go over how to use LASX Navigator with a multi-well plate. The first thing to do is to launch LASX Navigator, then go to the carrier on the bottom left and select the template that you want to use. You can see that there is a variety of different templates. If you don't see the template that you are using, you can go ahead and edit uh, your own. You can make your own custom carrier and it's very easy to use. Just get the specs from the manufacturer and go ahead and plug that in. So in today's example, I'm going to load a 384 well plate. It's got square wells. And once I load my template, I can go ahead and do an alignment. This is just to make sure that you your template matches up with the wells. So I've already done a preliminary alignment, so it should be pretty close, but the best thing to do is to hit that alignment button, then go to A1, and you'll follow the, the little diagram that's in the align wizard. Uh, in this example, I've done a spiral. Then we wanna go to the left center component of the well, like so. Then I wanna hit next. And I'll just keep following the wizard as you see here. And you can be a little bit anal like I'm being here and just make sure that it is perfectly aligned and so on. Just a quick reminder that you can easily toggle between showing where your current stage position is and then going to the full carrier region and once we draw a region of interest, we can toggle there as well. So the next thing we wanna look at is the kind of experiments you can do in Navigator. You can go between mosaic or positions, and under mosaic, we can either do rows and columns, or we can do a percent of fill factor. For example, if I put type in 100 here, it will fill in my wells with 100% coverage. If we zoom in on A1, we can see that there are four tiles in each well, and we can also scroll through each position in the task list. Now, if I switch between objectives, it will automatically calculate the number of tiles required for each well. For instance, if I go to the 20x from the 10x, I now have nine tiles per well instead of four. Let's say instead of wanting to do tiles, we want to do positions. So for instance, some number of positions in every well, either at random, um, whether or not they can overlap or using the same pattern. You can also adjust the bias towards the center or the edge. And so you can see I have one position in every well However, you might have noticed that I actually had put two positions per well, and so the reason behind that is because my mag needs to be changed. I, if I go to 20x, um, so first let me clear my points, and let me see if I can get two points per well with 20x. I still have only one point. So if I really want two positions per well, then I will probably have to go to a higher magnification objective lens. The other trick is to not have bias. So maybe it's because the field of view is too big and if I want everything in the center, there's only a possibility for one position per well. So there's a lot of things you can play with here. So what if you don't have cells in every well, which is very common. Uh, you can actually select the wells in your assay editor and then apply the positions or experiments that you want. Another way to do this is to go into one well, mark the positions that you want, and then you can right click and select duplicate to selected chambers. Now that we've selected our points of interest, I will use the autofocus panel to activate adaptive focus control. We have another video on this if you need to review that. So I'm focusing in on my cells and once I have it in focus, then I will hit on demand and then use AFC. 
Once I'm ready to go, I'll hit Start Experiment. Let's take a look at our data by going to Mosaic Merge and you can see the tile layout. And then as we scroll through all of the various positions, we can look at the cells, they're all in focus. Now, if you don't have AFC or you can't use AFC, you can also use the High Speed Autofocus or Best Focus, which is a software autofocus. There's a video on this as well on our channel. Basically, you can set up stage positions. You can choose to do autofocus on first position, every position, or every however many positions. You can also do autofocus on demand, meaning you can put in specifically where you want the autofocus to occur. A lot of times people use the first position in every well to set the focus because the rest of the well will mostly be in the same Z position as the first one. Once you're ready to start your experiment, hit start, and then it will run an autofocus wherever you have put an autofocus point down. I'm just clearing out the preview so that you can see that the autofocus is happening. So once we're done with our experiment, we can again look at our cells using the Mosaic Merge. We can also stay in the original interface and look at them there. You can see that the autofocus did a pretty decent job of finding the focus in most of the wells. So the last thing I'm gonna go over is the fact that you can actually run image analysis automatically from Navigator by going under Stage and then turning on Run Image Analysis after Acquisition. And this is our analysis pipeline. If you would like more information, please contact your local advanced workflow specialist.